Now this one will get reviews of the English Electric Lightning, the Mark 6, and it is a 172nd scale model by Hasegawa. And uh, there's a picture of the finished model and uh, dimensions. Let's have a look inside of the kit. Larger, larger plane. So let's have a look here at our main body. These are all raised panel lines. Unfortunately, fairly large plane. Looks like we've got some air brake openings there. Also have some flashing. So not too good there. Here we have our uh, probably fuel tanks. Landing gear, also some flashing there. And then our pylons. A very long probe here. No detail for the inside of the uh, cockpit over there. Here we have our main wings, and they had these very odd shaped wings. Uh, there's the underside. Also got our uh, tail and elevators. Got our uh, missiles, wheels here, and uh, no detail here for the wheel wells. It's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. And uh, molding quality is not that great. It's okay. Just requires a bit of extra work to get rid of that. Here's our nose gear. And our instrument panel, we do have a pilot here with an injection seat there. Uh, there's our uh, uh, air brakes, exhausts, and there's our air intake with again flashing. Here is the uh, canopy, that's well molded. Now over here we have our decals, and these are very nice decals, a lot of detail there and here is the instructions, so first of all some details there about the plane so we start off with the uh, cockpit which has really got no detail put that together inside the um, uh, inside the, the fuselage, fuselage is then put together along with our exhaust then put our air brakes on as well as our um, elevator and rudder then our wings go together and uh, the uh, weapons or fuel tanks probably then we've got our uh, landing gear and wheel well covers and uh, some weapons along the front there on their pylons these are the colors needed <coughs> and then uh, here's the painting and decal guide there are a lot of decals here that's for the one squadron there And here's for the other one. So, all in all, this must be an older kit. Uh, it's got raised panel lines, no detail on the wheel well or the cockpit really. Um, but uh, it'll still be a good model to build.